Hi Scorpio, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for July 2018 and I gotta tell you Scorpio, it is a busy month where we've got a lot of retrogrades, we've got our biggest benefic planet coming direct and it's coming direct in your sign as well as we've got eclipses happening this month so there is a lot of shift of energy that is definitely on the agenda but so much of it i feel like this month for you scorpio especially with jupiter being our biggest planet and being in your sign i feel like and then we've got uranus over here in taurus changing your relationships i feel like scorpio the universe is handing you the question of who are you going to be in your relationships next? How are you going to show up in your relationships? You've really done some ending, I think, of a certain phase of your life where it's continuing to end and it's almost there. And now it's like, who and how are you going to show up next? Right? So it's a very big question. And here's the thing. The question that I think it asks and the task that Jupiter ultimately gives you with a lot of wisdom is to go be a blessing in the world right maybe you've done stuff been stuff seen stuff had crazy relationships with this certain person or whatever i think there's a lot of forgiveness on the table this month and there's a lot of go shine get out of what you were doing shed that old life and go be a blessing in the world it's very transformative i'm telling you we've also got mars one of your co-ruling energies in your fourth house so i'm telling you in the core of who you are and have been as a person scorpio we've got a shift going on so Let's jump in here. I want to break the month down by date and talk you through it, get you into the information and out enjoying July, okay? So right here at the beginning of the month on the 5th, we've got Chiron, who's transiting Aries right now in your 6th house, taking a retrograde. Now when Chiron is transiting Aries in the first place, and if you haven't watched about Chiron and Aries, please check out that video. It's definitely in the playlist on the homepage. But when Chiron's transiting Aries, we are fighting for our identity. So one of the things that you are definitely doing and have been working on for a little bit here is finding a new identity in your work with co-workers um, in your daily routine in your health maybe even in your physical body you've been looking for this new identity who am I I'm, I'm another year older oh I didn't have that before but I have it now right these could be some of the questions that are coming up and especially with Jupiter in your sign the mental health piece definitely comes up to me who are you in your head? Why are you still trying to prove that you're something? Or why are you still trying to act like you're not something, right? It's time to step up, be that blessing, be the size that you are, right? Now with Chiron going retrograde, you get to answer those questions by re-looking at this area. What do you believe? What limiting beliefs do you have in this area of your life? What beliefs do you have about health? Did somebody tell you you have ABC disease and that's it? You're just like, okay, I guess I have it. Or have you considered that maybe there's something else? What limiting belief is keeping you trapped in having this different identity and showing up differently and thus kind of healing? Because whatever you find out, it's gonna be yucky, right? You gotta clean out the yucky wound so that you can see what's valuable moving forward. Now on the 9th, we've got Venus moving into Virgo. So lighting up your 11th house, this gives me the indicator because Venus likes to party, first of all, she really does. She's just very, very social and you're a Mars-based energy. So you can kind of get on board with this, right? So she's bringing a lot of people to your 11th house. Now here's the trick though. Venus is in Virgo and this is not a comfortable placement for her because Virgo is so nitpicky, nitpicky. It doesn't just love freely, it needs to nitpick. So you may be wanting to align with a new group of people but you're being very picky about it you're like who are these people what is this group do they support my mission blah 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 right you're just trying to pick the right alignment of people you want harmony in your life you want to be aligned with friends now one of the other things i'm thinking too because scorpio you've had a lot of career focus is if you've left or shifted from a career um you might actually need to find a new social group or you might be doing social things. Maybe you gotta go take care of that insurance, take care of those taxes, take care of that paperwork for whatever. So you could definitely be in a social situation. The other thing that comes to mind is maybe you're relooking at these long range goals. You gotta get a new vision, right? What's your new long range vision of beauty in your life? This is gonna be a wonderful energy. And remember, Venus is our smaller benefic planet, so she's really showing up to help. Now on the 10th, we've got our biggest benefic planet, Jupiter, coming direct 
in your sign and he's not only our biggest benefit planet but he's the planet of luck of generosity blessings abundance wisdom opportunities and he's direct right here in your sign now when jupiter is moving in retrograde fashion as he has been for several months he's still giving us benefits right but they just kind of sprinkle in and it's, it can feel a little delayed or it can feel like, how come this isn't quite, I mean, everything's okay, but it's not really moving forward. What's what's going on? Or what happens, especially because he's been in your sign, maybe you've been thinking a lot more about you than you have about other people. Now, Jupiter comes out of retrograde and you go, whoa, wait a minute. There are all of these blessings. There are these things that I can do to be a blessing, right? Oh man, you know what? I was thinking this was terrible in my life and it's actually not the worst thing ever. And Jupiter here as well is going to give you an opportunity if you've been trying to expand out in a different way. If you've been trying to move from this career to that career, this is going to help your expansion out because it helps you to be received well. And what you're taking with it is wisdom. The other thing you're taking is who do I want to be? How do I want to show up in this next phase of my life? How abundant are you going to be for yourself and for other people, right? So really a beautiful, beautiful energy, okay? When we get to the 12th, we've got this new moon, which is our new moon for the month, partial solar eclipse at 20 degrees of Cancer. Now this is lighting up your ninth house space. Now along with Venus up here being super social, we've got this new moon energy, which is where we plant these seeds of attention, right? What do you want here? It brings new things, fresh start, all of these things. You've got Jupiter in your sign, so expanding you out. And now here in the Cancer energy, the home, nurturing, be close to energy, this is making me think, Maybe you've got travel coming up on the agenda, or maybe you've got people traveling to you. Now remember, the eclipse energy lasts for about six months, okay? So you could have people traveling to and from your home over the next six months, right? We're, we're here in the second half or in the um, second half of the year, but we're in summer and then we're gonna move into the holidays. It's a perfect energy for travel. Maybe you're wanting to travel someplace um, further away. You know, maybe you're wanting to jump an ocean or two and go see something different, learn a language. For some of you as well, because the career shift has been so much on my mind for you, I do feel like some of you could be going back to school, getting a licensing certification, something like that, because you need that information and that study to take you to the next place. So over the next six months to a year, just depending on your chart, you could be studying something brand new here as well. And it is something really different than maybe what you were doing before. So really, I, I like that a, a, a lot for you. Now on the 22nd, we've got the sun moving into Leo, and on the 26th, we've got Mercury moving into Leo, or taking a retrograde, excuse me, in Leo. So what this lights up for you is this career space, this soul level calling space. And I do feel like career for you guys has been something that you've been working on, right? Maybe you're having to go back and fill out those last minute paperwork, you're having to go back, you're looking at your career, you're like, gosh, I had a a really cool career you know maybe you've retired or maybe you're ready to move on maybe you're ready to just not be doing the same thing that you were doing before the other thing i'm thinking of especially as we close in on this fourth house energy is that you could really be looking at what's my purpose in the world and how am i going to show up with people how am i going to show up to people what do i have to give right i think that's a very big energy that you could be working on this month with this energy and the thing is it's in retrograde so you're thinking about it is definitely on your mind but part of that i think has to do with the fact that you're redefining, realigning, reconsidering professional goals and who do I want to be goals. So this could also be a thing too that maybe if you had um, started something or you wanted to be involved with a career or a group or something like that before, or maybe it's this educational piece, right? You're getting to go back to it. That is a phenomenal use of this Mercury retrograde energy to be working on that, okay? Getting yourself ready for this next phase of whatever your calling is. Now keep in mind, because Mercury is our planet of communication, decision making, details, all of these things, this is not ideal energy to be signing any new contracts or doing anything like that. So if you can wait until after um, August 19th, you're gonna be in a lot better shape, okay? Now, as we get to the end of the month, we've got this full moon, total lunar 
lunar eclipse at four degrees of Aquarius. So this is lighting up your fourth house. Remember, Mars is also retrograde here in your fourth house. So this can be some frustrating energy. You maybe want to move something forward. You're ready to launch out. You want things to be different, and it's not time yet right it's it's not no it's just not yet because remember we're kind of in a cosmic stall with that energy now the full moon is still our full moon for the month and it says something has to be ended acknowledged or adjusted and this is in your family zone home family real estate property your core level beliefs things with women right all of these things are about to take a big old adjustment and i am telling you what because you are co-ruled by pluto as well one of the things that comes to my mind is transformation what is it time to be free of in your home zone have you been in this house forever and you really don't enjoy living here is it time to start this consideration about moving out of there um in your domestic life, have you been such a workaholic or so focused on other things that you didn't actually nurture relationships in your house and you're really seeing that now? You maybe have all of these travelers who've come into your house this month, right? And now you're having to go, oh, wait a minute, I have to readjust here, right? But whatever it is, you're going to make some kind of big adjustment. And since Mars is retrograde, the action is going to be slow. You're going to have to consider your action. What's your motivation for doing what you're doing? You know, are you fighting with a family member? Is it maybe time to let that go? I mean, have you been really, are you mad about that thing that happened the one time in the 80s? Okay, <laughs> let it go. You start maybe time to move on. Your question all month with Jupiter in your sign is, who do I want to be? How do I want to show up next? So what kind of blessing are you prepared to to be in your life. Now, I do think too, with this full moon lunar eclipse here over the next six months, some of you could be prepared to make a move. Um, you know, maybe the kids have graduated. And so it's like, yep, time to move. I was just waiting for you guys to get on out. <laughs> you know, whatever it is, you could definitely be setting yourself up for an adjustment in your living situation as well. So keep that in mind, okay? I think it's going to be a beautiful month. Please consider what kind of blessing you want to be to the world out there. I know that you are very mindful of those things, but the question is pretty heavy on you this month. So consider it, and I can't wait to see what you come up with and how you show up. All right, Scorpios, I love you guys so much. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you throughout the month. Bye, guys.